after these storms, you see a lot of debris and how the water's really kind of this darker, browner, chocolate milk color. Because of global climate change, we're seeing more and more fires. And these fires with these uh, burn areas denuded of vegetation result in magnitudes more debris flows that are coming down out of the mountains. Typically, we'll let it settle out here in the reservoir, clear up a little before we send it downstream. Today we went out on a helicopter tour and we went and flew over uh, several or uh, dozen or so of our uh, flood control facilities. So we have a world-class flood control system here in Los Angeles County uh, and it serves a dual purpose, both flood protection, flood risk reduction to communities, as well as capturing and conserving that water to help with our local water supply. It's increasingly necessary that we capture and conserve more of the rainwater that we get locally because we can't necessarily rely on imported water. Basically, we capture that water in our dams, we send it downstream and divert it into our spreading grounds, which recharges the groundwater basins here in the LA region. But we're increasingly seeing challenges to our mission with climate change impacting uh, you know, more fires. And that results in uh, a lot of debris coming down. So we, we've probably had close to a million cubic yards of sediment and debris come and wash down into our reservoirs. And that's okay because that's what they're designed to do. They're designed to capture that sediment and then allow the water to continue downstream, which means we're really investing a lot right now, maintaining the capacity in these. It means draining our reservoirs, going in there with bulldozers and excavators and hauling that sediment out so that we could restore the capacity in there. We also, with climate change, see fewer storms, more intense when they come, and then long periods of drought in between. So all of these make for an increased focus on our infrastructure and ensuring that we have the resources to uh, maintain them. Our 14 major dams, they're all built back in the 1920s and 30s. And so we've had a very strong program to really invest in these structures uh, make sure that they're meeting uh, current modern standards for dams. One of the uh, opportunities for investment in our infrastructure to meet these goals is our debris basins. Uh, these were built by the Corps of Engineers and turned over to us for operation and maintenance. Recently, the Water Resources Development Act was signed by the President, and in there is provisions to deauthorize those 31 debris basins that the Corps built, uh, given complete control to the county, where we can now modify those to not only serve their flood protection function, but also to hold back and capture some of that storm water and release it much like we do the larger dams. We've invested over the last 20 to 30 years roughly $300 million in going in there, upgrading electrical control systems, uh, the valves, all the mechanical systems on the dam and essentially bring it back to where these dams are ready to go and, uh, and uh, operability is ensured.